All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at Pollen Labs. Um, first, I wanted to give a shout out to Tyler Ramsey for showing the site on his streams and things like that, and also the Pollen Labs team for making a really good platform for cloud uh, attacks and things like that, right? So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to look for reveal hidden files in Google Storage, and you'll be surprised at how cloud attacks and you know just regular attacks, how they um you know like network attacks, or web directory attacks, all that they they intersect. You know they um. I didn't really need to, after I got the Google Cloud install and stuff like that, didn't really need to really dive deep into the actual attack vector there because of how they, how much they uh, interlap there. So we very first go to the site here that they have, and let me try to find that site again. Where is it at? If you can find a rule of context, walk through. Um, okay. Um, that's how I install it. I'm trying to remember right where that site was at. Inspecting the, okay, so we got our Google source code like right there okay storage google api um it bucket there we go so that's like where we want to go like right here right so we'll go ahead and we'll head over here and we'll see if we have to restart firefox here we may have to of course as soon as i hit record that happens right that's how it always works right and doesn't seem to really like that very much now does it Let's go ahead and head back over to that site over there and see what's going on with this. I literally just did it, but as usual, as soon as uh, you hit record, that's where everything goes goes downhill, huh? Images retail one, okay. All right, let's go ahead and try to find this uh, this site again, like right here. It's because for some reason, I'm not seeing it. Lab is still on. Let's go ahead and turn it off, and we'll turn it back on again. It'll just something like that. Let's go ahead and copy that. We'll head over here. There we go. Okay, cool. So we get to this site right here, right? We do a control U, start looking at source code and everything. And we do see right here the storage Google APIs.com IT storage bucket, right? Images retail one. So we know that there's an IT storage bucket under this uh, Google Cloud, right? So what we have to do from here is install the Google CLI which this has a great walkthrough on how to install that. All right, just make sure that you install it in a place where your path is, right? So if you echo your path, right? Just make sure you install it in a place like this, right? I ended up installing mine in home Cali local bin, right? Where I like to install a lot of my stuff. Okay, whenever it needs to call for that path. And once you install it, also do a sudo apt update and uh, that'll make sure that you can actually get to it, okay? But what it's telling us here is try to go, very first thing we need to do is log in, right? Which I already did that. It tells us to try to go to the storage buckets, okay? And we will get access denied. I'm not going to do that because it does show your actual email like right there. Um, I'm going to have to redo mine with um, different uh, email or something like that. Um, but if we go ahead and we look at this IT storage bucket index.html, we will drop down something in there, right, for GSUtil, okay? But what we can do with this is we can try to fuff it, okay? So we can try to fuff the site to actually be able to find things. I did download their... Um, backup files only dot text like right here and then what we can do is let's go ahead and we will fuff this and I put mine in user share sec list so if I go to my user share sec list user share sec list uh, web content discovery web content and it was called backup files only dot text all right and let me go ahead and we're just going to do attack AC like right here we can see that we're fuzzing it right just like we would normally fuzz use Fuff, right? I fuff there. We're going to fuzz it. Okay. So we hit enter there. And we see this backup 7-zip. All right. Well, we can go ahead and get that now. Right? If we just go to the site, we can just do a wget for backup dot 7-zip. Right? And to unzip something 7-zip, you're going to do a 7-zip x backup 7-zip. We can see that we need to enter a password. Okay, well, that's not going to work for us. So let's go ahead and do a 7-zip to John. 7-zip to John. Uh, that backup, right? And we'll save that as hash.txt. Then we can go ahead and use John hash.txt, 4 equals 4. All right, and we can see that I've already cracked it, right? So let's just go ahead and do a tac tac show. Show. Okay, so I get the password of balance. However, this takes a couple minutes, but from here we do our 7-zip seven, seven x backup zip balance and once we do that we go ahead and we find our flag.txt 
So that one, like right there, that is uh, reveal our hidden files in Google Storage utilizing Fuff. We use John instead of Hashcat, and then our Google Storage and everything. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later.